Hello and welcome everybody. I hope this is working. All right, great. It is. All right, it's Winners with the One, and we are about to bring you Hockey World Cup action as it's going to be USA versus Russia to start things out. And it's going to be me solo, looks like today. I don't think Kilinger's going to be able to make it. So I am here on the cast to bring you this live, amazing esports event which is taking place now. Uh, it will be a doubleheader, I believe. Canada and Ukraine will be playing after this. So it will be two games from each team. And they are getting ready now to make things happen. So I'm doing a million things at once here to get it ready. So thank you for joining us. Should be a good game. And Team USA, they've, uh, they've been struggling. And they did not win any of the games last week, so and they're really going to have their hands full against this Russian team, as they are very, very good. So we'll see how they do against them. And it looks like the game is about to start. It does indeed. Okay, and your lineups for Team USA. Team USA will be in blue. It is Dick McButts, Tellurs, Gray, and Not Lead, and the Russian team in red. E. Gorka, Eartha, Ryan, and Bale in the net. So, yes, let me tell them that the stream is ready, and we are ready to go. Well, the stream's as ready as it's going to be, guys. Okay, great. So, yes, this Russian team, probably the best in the world. And they've really been good. And throughout the whole, <laughs> already, they're getting shots on the net. Off the draw, that is about as quick as you can get a shot off. And almost goes in. And in front, oh, big save again. And Toulouse already having to come up big a couple of times here. As the Russians are already putting pressure on the net. Unsurprising as there's a shot that is blocked and now they will swoop in and put another one on this one just a little bit over so moving in they are from all corners in front almost again and what is that three four shots uh, <laughs> in the space of these this first minute of the game they are already squeezing off a few against this Team USA. And here's another one in front looking for the one-timer. And Igorka almost there. He's going to go ahead and circle around with this. He's got another player in front waiting for this. No, and there's one. And he's going to go through. Eartha gets one as three players just circling around. And just a, a good cycling of the puck. And one finally goes in. I say finally. We are about a minute and a half into this. And already Russia has one on the board. And about 50 shots already. Just a ridiculous play from the Russian team. So they will take it back in the other direction. Team USA now working it down, though. And this one will go around the back of the net. And Russia will again take possession. And you see them doing a pretty good job on the passing. The passing is really good for this Russian team. That is one of the keys to their success. And no doubt that will continue to be uh, something that you see a lot here. But also the shooting. And Toulouse gets a save. He stops that one at point blank range. That was a very big stop there. And Bale will come all the way out to play this for Team Russia. And send it back down. Now E. Gorka wheeling, dealing in front. And the one-timer attempt again. Eartha, the rebound. Oh, from back in the point. Ryan is going to get the score there with E. Gorka on the assist. So, wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> they are already working it. And now they will send this face-off back into the U.S. zone. And USA just trying to get get their bearings here a little bit. This game has barely even started. We are about halfway through the first period and already Russia up by a couple. And they could be taking advantage of one here. He chips it in, Igorka! Oh, 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 man. And so three to nothing. And another quick strike from this Russian Federation team. And strike three, as, as Luchik says. 
So. <laughs> oh, man. And another chance in front, and they will get the better of this as Team USA trying to get some defense going here and now trying to get some offense going. Loose, not led in front. Shoot the score! Z buries one in the top of the net with a nice goal so usa is not going to go out easily this won't be one of those uh, games where they're not able to score at all and they shorten the lead to two for team russia so who knows this could be anybody's game but yes they're gonna have their hands full against this russia team we knew they would and uh, Russia, I believe they only need two points right now to advance to the playoffs of Hockey World Cup. So they are already uh, doing pretty well in the standings. But Team USA doing pretty well here, too. Look at that drop pass. They're doing a little passing of their own. And the rebound attempt, he is blocked. And now they are going to circle with this. He's just looking for room and good defense by the Russians. They are staying on top of them. And wow, what a good play to get it away. And now here comes Russia. Again, the pass. And that's just behind him. So he's not able to get a hold of that and make the shot. But they are still holding it in the USA zone here. They will go back around the boards with it. And who will get to it first? It looks like Dick McButts. And he manages to work his way around one. Now he's going to use the boards to work around another. Nope, stolen at the point. Here comes Russia again. And again, they will be looking for that pass as soon as they get the puck. They start, they get their head up and they start looking for their, uh, their teammates. And this one will be dumped along the boards, picked up by Dick McButts, Eartha in pursuit. And now here comes Ryan, who's going to stop him here. As Team USA, they get a pass of their own. This one's right on, and Bale's going to make the save. And just in time, a very timely stop by Bale is going to prevent that. But here comes Russia the other way. Chance shot off the post. Rattles it off the left side. And now again in front, looking for it. And back at the point, will he uh, take a poke at it from here? No, he's going to go ahead and carry this down. E. Gorka looking for the one-timer again in the slot. He's going to catch his own rebound. Oh, but intermission saves the USA as they were on their way in with that. He threw that one right in the upper left corner of the net. But just in time, Team USA. Shout out to everybody in chat. Keeping it lively. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need your help and, and your company today because, uh, yeah, Killinger had a last-minute thing, so he won't be making it for today's game, perhaps tomorrow. So you won't get the super high-quality uh, pictures that you're accustomed to, but hopefully you can see the game just fine from where you're at. I, I'm having to uh, do everything here, but uh, I don't mind because this is big and here's another big attempt and this one just beyond ryan here he tries to look for the one timer in front he is blocked and so eartha will carry this back dick mcbutt's harassing him as he's just going to try to play keep away for a little bit and he looks for ryan on the wing there it's going to be sent back down to is going to take this and send it back to the point, not led. But, oh, it's a stolen again. And here they are trying to make the best of the opportunity. But Team USA getting it now stolen again. Slowed down. Chance backhander off the crossbar. And almost sweeped in or swept in. Excuse me. But no. And Russia still with it. Somehow they managed to retain possession. But this one again taken away by Team USA. They're doing pretty well here. They are uh, the onslaught of the Russian Federation offense has been relentless as expected but team usa playing pretty well on defense so far and we uh, knew they would have to certainly they knew they would have to and so far up to the task at least uh, holding them to within two goals which is better than a lot of teams have been able to do so far So, at center ice, it will be Russia taking this, and they will uh, try to get it down. Several players converging on the puck. Team USA with a chance to come away with this, 
not able to do so so now here it goes back and here's a chance for team usa they're going to lift one way back down and dump it in so the, here is bale with it he's going to send it to there's igorka and ryan both waiting for this and again you see them waiting on that opposite side and a beautiful pass is taken and here is Igorka at the blue line. He's going to try to move this in. Got a little bit of help on the other side. He's going to go ahead and uh, that's Dick McButts with a big defensive play. But again, at the point, Ryan is there, not led on him quickly. And now again, Igorka will send it back along the boards. And Dick McButts there to play some D. And, oh, this one trickles in front dangerously, but stolen. And Team USA is going to start to move this down, and they may have a chance to get the shot off here. Perhaps no. It will be Igorka cycling back on defense, who is able to get to that first. So sent back down into the U.S. zone. And a battle for it as they will collide along the boards looking for this. We'll start to see Russia set up on offense and they're going to slide one out to the point beautiful pass look at that shot and it goes in he gorka slow and low that is the tempo and he gets his second as he uh that's sort of like the one that patrick kane made last night the uh the last one patrick kane made although in a little bit slower motion but he didn't have to do too much as that's just good positioning and that that is the key to the success of this russian team they just know where to be, that they make good passes, they are in position, and here they are again, and he's going to get one pass to the Stores, and Eartha gets his second, and all of a sudden the gap is widening a little bit now, as this is starting to look more like the Russian team we are accustomed to seeing, 5-1. to one. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's, sorry it's the Royale cheese... Uh, textures I, I didn't change it to anything fancy for this so that, that's the ones that i always have on my machines so you know you take what you can get but hopefully these high quality images are high quality enough to bring you the action if nothing else and here is russia bringing the action in front and oh almost as he's in the slot waiting for that Igorka almost got that and now here they will battle in the corner. Igorka coming away with it, sending the drop pass in. And this will be chased down. And, yeah, just look at that puck movement. Yeah, the, the drop pass just waiting for him there. Fights his way through a couple of guys. Finally, this one's stolen, sent back the other way. And so Bale will take it. And that will do it for the second period which was a very strong one for Russia as they put a few extra points on the board to cushion that lead, and they make it 5-1. to one. So, yes, Hockey World Cup is happening here. We've got a doubleheader coming, and hopefully it's uh, good enough. It may not be good enough for, for Mr. Brizztown, but hopefully it's good enough for the rest of you as we're just trying to bring you the action. I was not expecting to have to stream this myself today and got the news at the last minute. So this is just uh, some emergency coverage. Here's a chance in front. They're going to have to get some emergency coverage on this Russian team but not able to do so this will be sent back and if you can't uh, if it's just too much for your eyes to bear just hopefully the sound of my voice will carry you through now that's that's all we can hope for with these casts so going back the other way here is a chance for the russian team shot and just wide to the left and this will be carried out by Team USA. They have a chance to move it now. The shot on goal, the save made as Bale deep in the net, very deep in the net. He stops that at the line. Oh, man. So, again, some attempts from Team USA, and this is as long as they've held possession in the Russian zone the whole game, pretty much. But now, quickly, Russia will take it back the other way. 
And we're on the Borktown server, actually. We're not on the Royale with Cheese server. We're just flying the colors of Royale with Cheese. Uh, I don't have any of the other textures besides the Royale with Cheese textures. So usually that is sufficient because every time I've had to uh, stream before, it's been for Friday Night Hockey. Here's another chance in front. Shot save! Huge as he gets all of that. As it looked like, uh, who was that? Was that Gray? I think that was Gray, actually, out a little bit ahead of the puck to make the stop. Now they are moving it out, and Team USA going to try to start things up from their own end, and he's going to have to get away from Eartha first, who is uh, harassing him heavily, and sent down, and this one went past everybody, so here is a chance down in the corner, and he's looking for a guy in front, but nobody is there in time to make the best of it, and you see Team USA doing a lot of the things that work for Team Russia, but they, you got to have the people there, and they are starting to get there, just not quickly enough to capitalize uh, capitalism, you get it, out on these opportunities. But Team USA still moving the puck here and with a chance. Coming across the line, he's got a chance to shoot this and does. The save is made, bouncing loose, and a chance in front, not able to convert. So this will go all the way back to Gray, who is at the USA zone, now held it. Yeah, you're starting to see a little bit better passing. The Team USA starting to come together a little bit here, but it is pretty late in the third period, 143 left to go. And so now sent down, here is a chance again. The backhander, and it's well wide of the net. About a minute and a half left to play. And look for the one-timer in front, and just beyond him. As the, Yeah, we're starting to see. This is a better-looking Team USA for sure than we saw last week. This is more like it. But, oh, he chips it in. A beautiful one-timer by Ryan as he just pops one over the stick of Toulouse. That was beautifully done. And some of these Russian goals, uh, they are scoring about every way you can score. I mean, whether we're, we're used to seeing them shooting from distance, but they've gotten several close in, uh, very close contact goals just like that. And they are not the prettiest goals, but they are certainly effective. And that's the way to do it. But here's another chance in front. And he gets the initial stop, but this one carried in by its own momentum. And Eartha will get a hat trick and make it 7-1. to So now, again, the margin widening for Team Russia. This is starting to look more like their games normally look as they are starting to find their footing a little bit as well. Now, we will be playing a doubleheader. This is uh, the first game of two. So uh, we'll see if uh, Team USA can carry this uh, this newfound uh, confidence. That they certainly looked good in this game. This is the best they've looked. Oh, he almost gets one top shelf there and finally dug in by Earth. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, man. Close quarters and getting it done. So that's 8-1, to one, and that's probably how this one is going to end up, unless they can get another one here, and they very possibly could. Shot and score! Just like that. Ryan finishes things off with a hat trick. I dare say finishes off. He's got seven seconds. They may score another one here. But puck loose, going back towards the Russian net, going to go wide, and that will be your final score for this game. 9-1, to one, Team Russia. And they are picking up right where they left off last week. A very solid effort, and just finding different ways to score. And they, uh, wow, what can you say that hasn't already been said about this team? They, they look great. They, they just look great. So we'll go to the second game, and we'll see if uh, Team USA has an answer. Coming up right now. So thank you for joining us, everybody. The Hockey World Cup, a big deal, kind of a big deal, yes, as we have seven teams from around the world, and they will be competing over the next uh, couple of weeks or so. There's still uh, round-robin games to be played, followed by some sort of playoffs, 
and presumably some sort of finals as uh, I guess uh, Migo Meepo has all the details I'm not sure uh, I, I wouldn't even if I wasn't doing this solo I would not be sure so <laughs> But we are uh, learning as we go about these teams from around the world. And some of them we've gotten to see more than others, of course. But we certainly, uh, these are known quantities that we have on the ice here. And uh, Team Russia is definitely the favorites in the series. They have, uh, if I am not mistaken, that with that game, or maybe with this next game, they will have or did clinch a spot in those playoffs. So, unsurprising, as they are a solid team. And they are proving it here on the Hockey World Cup. And we are going to our second game now, as Team Russia on the move with it, wasting no time, as they will carry it across. That is Kukler. Oh, no, Kukler. Probably one of the best in the world right there, if not the best. He is... Uh, Definitely one of the great individual players of hockey, question mark. And so, yes, let's, uh, the lineups have changed a little bit. For Russia, it is Kukler, Mozilla, Bale still in the net, and Jobson. So they've changed everybody but their goalie. And for USA, still in blue, it's Toulouse and Gray, not led, and Luchik. So, yeah, solid lineups for both teams. And this Russian Federation team... At first, there was talk that they were going to run two teams, and they definitely are deep enough uh, personnel-wise and talent-wise to run two teams, but I think they eventually settled on one, and here's one. If this settles down, this could have a chance. Team USA trying to get to it, and it's just to the side of the net, and this will be finally sent out by Russia, and they're going to carry this all the way down. It is chased by Jobson. And Toulouse is going to waste no time sending it back the other way. And Mozilla will pick it up, sent down. I know Mozilla has been doing some casting of this Hockey World Cup. I need to go check some of those out, even though they are in Russian. Uh, his English is probably better than my Russian, I would suspect. So here's a shot, and it goes in! Kukler with the off-speed shot. As they almost got that, I believe that was not led, found himself having to try to make the stop on it. And it looks like the initial stop was made, but that's just one of those where there's just enough pepper on it to carry it all the way in. And Kukler, oh man, he does it every way you can do it. So, and he's going to have the puck again as he moves into their zone and slapping one across, looking for the one timer. Not able to get that, though. They weren't there in time. And so picking it back up will be Jobson. The drop pass for Mozilla broken up by Team USA. And this one will go all the way back to Bale on the other end, who is going to play it back very quickly. And now they will chase it down. Mozilla in the corner. He's going to send it along the boards. Jobson waiting for it. Lifts one in the air. This almost got knocked down and in by Mozilla and wouldn't have that have been quite a play but <laughs> so team USA holding it to one to nothing now yeah I'm starting to see a little bit of slowdown on this Borktown server as uh, hopefully it's not affecting play too much here and being an issue in this World Cup that's been uh, something we've experimented with in international play as latency ping these are things that do affect how the game is played uh, we, we've tried different servers various servers to try to find one where it's kind of even for everyone and so nobody's at too much of an advantage or disadvantage and so far it seems to be working pretty well here on Borktown but although, yeah, I'm starting to see a little bit of lag, and so presumably you will see it at home as well. And likely these players are seeing it, and hopefully it's uh, not enough that it's going to really affect the run of play. As 121 left, and Team USA, they've got to be happy right now to just be holding them to one goal as we go to almost a minute left in this first period. After that last game, where they kept it pretty close, even though it just sort of got away from them. But here's one almost getting away from them, as this one is going to go over the net. It looked like Gray might have got a piece of that, but it was going over. 
So, again, Team USA dodging a bullet from the Russian Federation, and now they will be on the move again. Here's one that is dumped all the way in. The rebound attempt may have a chance. Nope, it's going to be Bale playing it out very quickly, and an aggressive move by Bale pays off as he hasn't had to do a whole lot, but he's been very strong when he needed to be. So here's one, again, just a little bit wide as Russia is getting the shots off. And here comes Luchik. Will he have a chance to move this? He gets around one and now skating through. Will he go ahead and uh, take the shot here? He does. It's immediately blocked as a good defensive play is made. 13 seconds left. And back in the corner, Gray's going to lift this down. It, it is blocked by Jobson on its way. He saw that coming. Here's one coming to the net, though. Bale, he stops it as he just trips it up a little bit there as it was going a little bit wide. But yes, uh, and Luchik says good period, and it certainly was, as they have held the Russians to one goal in a period. At this point, that's almost as good as a win here in this Hockey World Cup. They, they, wow, what a great team. And what a great performance by Team USA to keep this close. So this is a competitive game. You know, could they shock the world here? Could Team USA come away with a victory? You, you got to believe. And uh, for all the USA fans out there, you see the cheeseburger in the middle. We are known for those cheeseburgers. And Team USA is going to try to make history happen, but they're going to have to. They got two periods left to deal with this Russian team who is quickly making offensive plays and almost do again. And here's a chance. This one gets a little bit away from Luchik as he was moving down to try to set up for a shot but the puck just uh getting a little ahead of the stick so it will be started up again here at center ice and now they got a chance to move it and lose a little bit of room he tries to make the pass that is blocked as they quickly close down the passing lanes and so team russia pretty good on defense so I mean, they get a lot of renown for their offense but defensively they've been very strong as well and here's a shot it's gone Kugler from just beyond the face-off circle he was left alone just enough you give him just enough space and he will take it to you and he does again two to nothing but here's a chance for team usa immediately blocked and this one is going to go all the way back down in the corner. Yes, you'll see Gray playing for AKA Goose. He's back there on the uh, the goaltending as Tellur's playing up on D here, and they've uh, switched roles. So we'll see. We see some adjustments being made personnel-wise for Team USA as far as positioning goes. And here's a shot. This one is going to go wide to the left, and he will be looking for the rebound. And not able to get it. There's a beautiful pass. Shot and score. Luchik. Unbelievable. A beautiful feed from not lead. He gets the pass right in front. The one-timer attempt goes in. And USA makes it 2-1. to one. Here's another chance again. They might have a chance to tie this thing up. But no, it is swept away. And wow. So we have an actual, we are halfway through this game and it is two to one. This is beyond what some could have even dreamed of as far as keeping it close <laughs> in the second game of our double header between USA and Russia. I believe it'll be Canada and Ukraine after this. So we will see uh, another good set of games coming up so don't go away as uh, but so far team usa they've got to be pleased with this that, that this is definitely a lot better we wondered how they were going to make adjustments from last week that they struggled they've had a lot of uh, internal things happen as far as uh, their their makeup or their composition of their team and they've come away looking pretty good here. We wondered what kind of adjustments they were going to make. And it turns out they're good ones because they are, this is as close a game as we have seen in Hockey World Cup so far. But Russia looking to change that as this will be chased down in the corner. And look at that right there looking for it. And the stop made by Goose as he is able to catch that one before it goes in and here's a nice blocked attempt 
and it will go back and Russia is uh, back trying to set up at the point but they had their backs turned to the puck so Team USA will take the opportunity to push this down 118 left in the second and it is merely a 2-1 to one game and here comes the Russian Federation they are at the point the shot just over the net as will they be able to gather this up at the other end they do and here's another one that's just over and so their shooting touch just oh but that goes in Kukler it looked like he got a deflection and <laughs> either way it goes in and Kukler, three goals and three points on the board for the Russian Federation as they lead three to one with under a minute left here in the second period. And Team USA fighting hard. And will they be able to put something else on the board before time runs out in the second? We will now see as it is taken in the corner. Sent down. Tlurz will grab this. And he does a good job of getting around Mozilla there. And he's going to at least get this into the Russian zone before it is taken out. 20 seconds now. And this one's looking dangerous. And Toulouse is going to slap it loose as he and Gray sort of switching out roles there in front of the net. And now this one's spinning and they're just both teams kind of looking at it three seconds possible chance for team usa and it just gets away from him and a little bit of a oh that's not going to be able to be shot on net in time so a pretty interesting game so far and a, an intriguing effort by team usa they are th this is definitely a better usa team a more strong and confident usa team than we saw last week and they've got to be pleased that they're holding it this close but right now they've got to be looking at they've got a chance to win this thing so dare i say they've got a chance to win this thing but it's easier said than done as russia a very good team and so we'll see where they go with this and now team usa has worked it back into the Russian zone, and they will look to camp in front. This almost, oh, it's a save made as Bale swats this away from the net, and it looks dangerous for a second there. But here they are on the move, Mozilla with it. Double teamed shot. He's going to go ahead and lift one here, and the rebound will be followed by Kukler. He leaves the drop for Jobson. And they will, you see how quickly they move to the front of the net. They are always looking to get that opportunity. And they are always moving the puck right there in the front of the net. And here's another chance. And it goes just over. And so now Jobson, and again, they are just holding it in this zone. And Luchik will finally take possession of this thing for Team USA and he waits very patient you see him moving around a couple of deeks there and oh man he's trying to do this all himself and that is very difficult to do against this russian team but he will send it down and so not led is going to pursue this into the corner but kukler with it three minutes left for team usa to do something here kukler launches one from way back and that one is going to go wide so now Toulouse with Mozilla there close on him. And Luchik will take it and use the boards to get around a couple of people. Almost lost it in a dangerous spot, but regains it. And it's going to give Russia time to send it back into their zone. And now you see Luchik waiting for it here at the blue line. Stolen again, taken back, now chased down. And Toulouse with it. He will send it to the Russian blue line where it will be picked up. And Kukler is going to grab this. And he is going to switch it up to the opposite end of the rink where Luchik will take it. Maybe, yes. And they're fighting for it. This is a shot on goal, and Kugler gets it in. Oh, he caught him looking. They were not expecting that at all. I think uh, Gray was... Uh, kind of surprised by that as were we as were th this uh, entire team 
So, four to one, but here's a shot and almost a goal for Team USA as that one bounced and just took an unlucky bounce over to the right of the net. And so here they go back the other way. Mozilla in front. He's got room and he's going to shoot this wide and he will gather up his own rebound and he's going to slide one into the slot and Jobson not able to convert on that. So he's going to move it in for the wraparound attempt. That is blocked and still battled for behind the net here. And Team USA will come away with it. And this one is going to go well past center ice before Kugler picks it up. And now he will send it down. And he's got people waiting for it. Mozilla will chase this into the corner along with Luchik. And there is Toulouse as well. And this one will be uh, sent all the way back into the Russian zone. Here comes Not Lead. Bale's going to have to come out to play this and does. And he will try to get it around Not Lead. Does Kugler there for it. A minute left to play in the third. And Russia with a three-goal lead. And Team USA, it looks like they uh, the dream may be over, but you got to give them credit for this is as well as I've seen any international team play the Russians so far. So they've got to be pleased with their performance, and they're going to want to try to hold them here, but maybe not Kugler with his fifth. And it has been all Kugler. For the Russian Federation in this second game of the doubleheader, he has gotten all of their goals. And with an assist there from, I believe that was Jobson on the assist. Yes, so 30 seconds left. And that's going to about do it, I think. As you know, there may be more, there's always more time on the clock to score for this team in red. And they are working it. Behind the net, they're going to try to do one of those where they bounce it off. <laughs> Almost goes in. 10 seconds left and held in at the point. He's going to go ahead and take another crack at it here. He's got Mozilla in front and that's going to do it. So put it in stone. Russia will seal their spot in the playoffs of the Hockey World Cup in stunning fashion. They win 5-1 to one, but Team USA a great effort and uh, a lot closer than many international observers would have expected it to be. So they, they've got to be pleased with that, as pleased as you can be with a uh, uh, getting beaten by the Russians. They really played well there. And you could tell that they strengthened and tightened things up in the second game, and that worked out very well for them. But not enough to get the win but still pretty good. So now we get another look at Team Canada. I know they have been practicing this week. They had a couple of uh, organized practices. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Very well done by Russia, though. So stay with us as more is happening. We are about to see Canada versus, I uh, believe, Ukraine will be their opponents today. And don't forget, you'll be able to watch these later on YouTube. If you go to YouTube and go to IBN Casting, you'll be able to watch all the games from Friday Night Hockey, uh, the HQML, as you see uh, represented on our rink textures. And you'll also be able to see our weekend coverage of Hockey World Cup. And we will await this uh, this game coming up now as Ukraine starts to join the server.
We'll serenade you with some uh, royalty-free music. As we await the second matchup here on our doubleheader, it's going to be Ukraine against Team Canada, and right now they are working to, I guess, uh, one of the Canadian players has been kicked from the server, and so uh, Go Canada Go being the player in question, and so now they are working to get him unkicked so that he can participate in this game. <laughs> and it looks like he he's in 
and so the situation has been rectified so we will proceed with our game I'm assuming as Matt from Canada the star player from Canada asks what's happening and now they will uh, ideally I believe they will reset the server here and they will okay so here we go this thing is about to start they are about ready to light this candle and so looking at the lineups here they are good ones it is for Team Canada. It will be Evkob, Matt, Sammy, and Bojarzine. And for Ukraine, it's going to be Dennis, Oracle, Ricky, and Mirror Boy. And keep your eye on Dennis for, uh, for Ukraine. He is a goal-scoring machine. And it will be Matt. He played very, very well in the game last night in HQML. In fact, he was the sole player of Team EZ. <laughs> so he, he, uh, play, he won V'd everybody and did pretty well at it. So he will be definitely he uh, just a great performance. And he will be hoping to carry that into this game as well. So, Ukraine in blue, Canada in red, and Canada already there is Matt shooting and scoring with 438 on the board. He quickly strikes for Team Canada, and so that was a very timely goal, and now they've got another chance off the draw, room to shoot, and the save made. That was a big save by Oracle, who stopped that at point-blank range. He was able to get the blade on it. Very nicely done. And so, Canada, from jump, they're looking pretty good here as they've got a goal already about a minute in here. And so, Ukraine, a solid squad. They will look to counter. And the puck is taken again by Canada. Bojarzine with a chance. And this one just beyond him. He will chase it into the corner and look to set up a trailing player. The pass blocked. So now Ukraine is going to take control of it and start to move it the other way. He's got room to move here as it will be stolen. A nice play defensively to stop him. And But circling around, I think it was a surprise to get the puck back there, is Dennis. And he's going to just keep circling and moving it and it will be still at the face-off circle it took a little bit there but Bo trying to get away with this it uh he had to catch back up with the puck and so now Ukraine with it at center ice and Dennis will put it down to mirror boy who is going to send one in front and this one blocked so we're seeing defense starting to tighten up a little bit here so far as here is Bo, and here is a trailing pass to Matt, and does not go. Matt tries to take an extra swat at it. It does not go either. So back the other way, Team Ukraine shoots, scores! Dennis answers the initial goal from Matt with a goal of his own. So they're making me look like a genius here. I, I am a wizard. I said to watch for these two guys, and they both have points on the board. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't take a wizard to figure out that these cats can play. So, <laughs> uh, so far, some great plays from both teams. Here's another chance for Ukraine. Just shot wide. And they will gather this back up, send it back in. And looking for it will be Mirror Boy there. He manages to drop it at the blue line. But it is taken away. Canada on the move here with it. And room to shoot. He jumps and gets around one player. And almost. <laughs> I don't know if the uh, the jump was part of the move set there. But it did look cool. At the very least. So we are tied at one. In a pretty interesting game so far. As Canada and Ukraine look pretty well uh, matched here. As uh, both teams are getting shots and uh, getting points and playing pretty good on defense as well as they're starting to lock things down somewhat. But here's one that knuckles. It almost goes in. A nice wrist shot. 
and followed by Bo there. He's going to send it, try looking for Matt and did not find him. So now push the other way. Ukraine with a chance. He's going to send one in. Dennis with the off-speed backhander gets the goal. His second of the game with an assist from Mirror Boy. And wow. <laughs> and Oracle says, da. <laughs> that means yes. So two to one. And Ukraine not weak. And they will look to get one again here as the save made by Sammy. But the rebound, Ricky, top shelf where Mama keeps the cookies. Ricky, he got some splaining to do. And he makes it three to one. Oh, man. <laughs> some nice work from Team Ukraine. And all of a sudden, they are up by two. But here is Canada on the break. Chance possible in front. He's got room. He shoots and scores! Bo Jarzine! And he carries it all the way. And he puts Canada within one with 27 seconds left to play in the first period. So a very close game. Stays close. But here is Ukraine on the move again. They will try to advance this to the Canadian zone, and it is back beyond the blue line. Still held in, though. Eight seconds. Will he have time to shoot here? He's got it down in the corner, and he will look to find somebody in front. And the Canadian defense just plugging up those passing lanes, and they are stopping anything from getting close to that slot position. And that's going to make it 3-2, to two, a, a nice first period. And Ukraine with the lead, but Canada trying to keep it close here. Good stuff, good stuff. So we begin the second period off the draw and contending for it. Ukraine Mirror Boy will carry it back. And Matt trying to hassle him a little bit, uh, hoping for a, a, just a bobble or something that he could uh, take advantage of. And now similar stuff on the other end as Canada is trying to fight these guys off as the Ukraine team does send one across the slot. It does not go. And this one's going all the way back to the other end. And Bo will take it, shoot it, and score! The ridiculous angle! And Bo Jarzine has tied things up for Canada. We talked about Matt We've got to talk about Bo. He is definitely a solid player for this Canadian team. And it's been Matt and Bo so far. And here is a save by Sammy as an encroaching uh, Ukraine team. Uh, very opportunistic. Almost gets one there. And now they will take it back at their own blue line and start to work it in again. As sent across. Not able to find anybody there. It will be uh, gathered up in the corner here. Mirror Boy looking for somebody at the point. Not able to find them. And now off the boards. Oh, that's a beautiful pass. Just love that. Just slap it up against the boards and send it towards the middle. A, a little bit of uh, a little bit of a deflection pass there. And here's one that shot just wide to the left. And yeah, we're seeing some very in inventive play from this Ukraine team. But so far, they are uh, not able to turn any of that into points. And we are still locked at 3-3. Three to three. And here's one that takes a crazy bounce. And it will settle down on the stick of uh, Canada here as Matt is trying to advance. It does not, though. It's going to go back the other way. And Evkob there to go ahead and send one down. And it will be chased into the corner by Bojarzine. He's going to take this and wheel and deal. He was looking to go the other way with it. And it will be taken by Dennis now. And you'll see him switch it up. Back to the other side. It's uh, going down into the corner. And taken back to center ice. So Oracle in the nets. Coming out of the nets for Ukraine. He will go ahead and throw this all the way back down the rink. And held in, though. Dennis there. And he will follow this into the corner. And chasing it is Mirror Boy. And he's uh, not able to control it there. And they will use the backhand to keep this 
in the Canadian zone, at least for a moment there. And this will be sent all the way down. Oracle has to make the save on it and does. And so now here's another one he has to make the save on as this one came from the side over there in the corner. And he is going to just uh, direct that back into the behind the net area. And Dennis will start to make his move. As he's got Matt all over him, here comes Bo. He's going to be looking for Matt in front. The pass, and almost, but some big defense from Ukraine is going to stop that. And now they will push it back the other way. Here comes Ricky with it. It gets a little bit past him. And now gathered up, shot, and just wide as Sammy's just going to watch that go to the left of the net. Gathered up again by Canada. Stolen, though. Chance shot. Sammy has to make the save and does. And so these goalies are both looking pretty good in this game. Now, it is uh, still a tie game. About a minute left in the second. And this is a very close game in, uh, in any measure you want to use. Offense, defense, it's looking good. So, taken into the corner here, Evkov with Ricky on him. He's going to use the boards to help him out a little bit as Ukraine will look to put some pressure on. 41 seconds left. They hold it in, and he's going to move around a couple of people. Chance in front. Beautiful save by Sammy. He stops that one as they will still hold this in, and almost uh, that was a beautiful pass but not able to convert. Now still held in by Team Ukraine. They've got a chance here. Pushes it towards the net. And 18 seconds left. It will go back beyond the blue line, but they will hold it in the Canadian zone. And again at the point, looking to do something with it. Dug out now. Chance for Canada. Coming out big is Oracle. Oh, he makes the gamble, and Bo makes him pay for it. With his third goal of the game, Bo Jarzine makes it 4-3, to three, and Canada takes the lead by one in the second period and that will send us to the third as yes that that was a tough play by oracle you know sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't we, we see these goalies uh get very proactive with it get very aggressive and he just tried forced him to make a move and sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't and in that case bojarzine able to uh, get that one and get it in so they have the lead going into the third period will they be able to hold it against a very tough ukraine team we shall see that is why they play the games and here is that tough ukraine team and oh that that one it looked like he got a, a little bit of that it did have the crossbar the rub of the post but maybe a little bit of the stick as well as sammy is uh, he's going to face a lot of pressure from this uh, Ukrainian offense as they will be uh, putting a lot of shots on, I suspect. that They definitely have a great offensive squad, and they are down by one. They will be looking to try to at least even this up and send it to overtime. But who knows how many goals. I, I don't want to put any wagers on how many goals are scored in this period. It's uh, <laughs> been a pretty exciting game so far, and there's one that, up oh, it's on top of the net. Hello. <laughs> and finally swatted off of there by <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you see those happen every once in a while. So, yes, this is Hockey Question Mark. It is a free-to-play game from Cryptic Sea. You can get it at HockeyQuestionMark.com. And a new version is coming out very soon. I'll be, uh, we'll definitely have to do another Hockey World Cup when we have the new version, as it is an uh, entirely different beast altogether and, and uh, a very cool beast so far. The, the things that are being added to the game, it's, uh, it's looking really good. And I think uh, it's going to be a very positive thing for the community when we start moving to the new version but this version 55f that you're looking at has a a lot of uh, mileage on it these guys have played it quite a bit and it shows they are uh, very strong with their play and yeah they have uh, the skill curve is big for this game so what you're seeing is the result of a lot of work 
And both these teams are working it pretty in this third period. Two and a half minutes left. Ukraine with a shot is scored! Dennis from the point. And a hat trick for Dennis from Ukraine as he ties things up. Four to four now, and what a game. Oh, man. These teams match up extremely well, and it's uh, making for a fun match. And there's one more after this. These teams will play a doubleheader. So we are not done by any stretch here. And so if the second game is half as entertaining as this, it will be damned entertaining. So still in contention here. Oh, so close. And Ricky finishes it off. And it looked like he had a little bit of help there. Not sure, but Ukraine will take the lead. Uh, whoever got that in, that might have been uh, pushed in with a little bit of help from uh from canada as they were just trying to dig it out of the net it was on the line (laughs) and wow so but either way you know whoever scores however it is scored it is still five to four so ukraine with the lead and looking to add to it they will send one back towards sammy he will immediately shove this out of the net and now Canada just trying to settle things down and get something going offensively. But it is loose. The shot at Ricky. Oh, man. Buries one in the upper left-hand corner of the net. And make no doubt about that one. It is to 6-4 in favor of Ukraine. And they were down. Yes, they, they were losing this game coming into this third period. And now... They take the lead by two with a minute left to play in the third. A very nicely done, a well-engineered comeback from Team Ukraine. And Canada looking pretty good, though. You can tell that all the practice they've put in this week has paid off, and they've got a chance to put it in here, and Matt does it. He makes it five to six, so this thing is not over yet. Not at all. <laughs> 40 seconds left. Team Canada gives themselves a chance with that goal by Matt to even things up. And they've got time to do it here. 30 seconds. They're going to have to hurry. It's going to be sent across. And he's got... There is Matt waiting for it. Mirror Boy is going to collide with him. So this will be scooped up by Bojarzine. He's going to send it down to Matt. Oh, and that one just beyond the net. As he was looking for the one-timer, he's going to drop it for Bo here. Chance blocked. Ukraine very strong on defense, and they are going to stop this, and that could be the one that does it. And three seconds left. Chance to the net, just wide. And so Ukraine fights off Canada right at the end, and the GGs come out, and that was a G-fucking-G. So Ukraine, (laughs) oh, wow. And they are uh, saying that one of the goals might have been goalie interference. I don't know. We will have to let somebody else uh, decide that. And, uh, yes, I'm looking at the chat now. I I don't pay a lot of attention to the chat while I'm casting. I'm bad at that. But, yes, Claude, uh, Swag Squad actually did beat Fun Train last night on a dramatic double overtime goal by Sweaty Goals. He he just uh, caught Tim Barrett at the right time in the net. And it was uh, the the game of the night. And that was saying something because it was uh, quite a night of hockey. You can see the whole thing on uh, IBN Casting YouTube. If you go to YouTube, type in IBN Casting and you can watch all the action from that game and this game. We'll have this up later. As... Now we begin our second game. We waste no time, and wasting no time is this Ukrainian team in getting to the net. As uh, Look at that. Beautiful pass and shot and score as Ricky dishes to Miraboy in front, who converts. And so Ukraine, coming off that big win just now, starts it off with a one to nothing lead as uh, 30 seconds in. And now they're trying to add to that possible chance shot and just wide. Oh, man. Yeah, not not the best angle there. I'm 
I'm not as good at the camera as Killinger. He's got more experience with uh, with doing the high quality images that we normally see on these casts. But yeah, doing my best, folks. Hope you're enjoying it either way, and uh, just trying to bring the game to you and uh, record it for the sake of history because history is being made today and history being made all weekend long don't forget tomorrow there will be games again and these north american teams will be in action once again we'll, we'll get our first look at the commonwealth of independent states now this is a team we haven't seen yet and they will be playing so we're looking forward to that these uh, these games will take place once again at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, set your VCR, set your alarm, and here's one all from long distance, Matt. Hello, Canada calling. He gets it and ties it up from way downtown. A big goal by Matt to tie things up at 1. 3.20 on the clock. We are here in the first period, but here is Ukraine with a chance and scooted out by the Canadian defense. They will send this back down. Oh, they're talking about that Patrick Kane goal. That was one of the best goals I have seen in playoff hockey. That was just ridiculous. If you haven't seen Kaner's goal from last night, yeah, go check that out. It was just sick. Even Barry Melrose is like, wow, that's sick. <laughs> the the backhander from the impossible angle after a fake drop pass he had his back turned to the net it looked like he didn't even look at the net and, and then just shoves one from the right side of the net into the left corner and then starts yelling showtime showtime and wow Kaner what can you say that, that dude is a beast but yes yeah, so if you're into the NHL or the NBA you've got to be pleased with what's going on in the playoffs this year this is a hell of a uh, first round and, and now second round of basketball and hockey and here's one from long distance and Sammy just chips that away as that had a chance that that seriously had a chance for Ukraine now under two minutes left to play in the in the first period still well in our second game the first period here's a shot and a save as oracle gets a piece of that as well so the goalies up to the task on both sides there uh, in succession they make uh, their respective stops and now carried out canada is going to try to move this and plenty of time to do so before the intermission and this one will go all the way back to Oracle. He's going to waste no time sending it around. And the pass made. And immediately Canada all over the puck. <laughs> Somehow that did not go in. Oh, man. It went right on the line. And it looked like it bounced against both posts. And somehow kept out of the net. A big play there by just not having to do anything. <laughs> sometimes that is uh, what you have to do you know you, you don't want to force the issue that might have been one of the reasons one of those goals was scored in the last game so under a minute left and we are still tied at one and uh, the first game played very tightly this one no different and a big save there up and the stick of sammy he makes the stop and now Team Canada will just try to get this out of their zone, but no, held in. And Ukraine trying to push this, and finally it is shook loose. It will go all the way back down to Oracle. He is going to handle this in the corner. 23 seconds left, and sent way down, picked up by Ricky. And will they be able to advance this? 13 seconds. He's going to send it back up to the blue line. And gets around one, now another. Seven seconds left. He's going to just uh, put one towards the net, and it's not going to go. So we'll go to the second period. Tied to one here on our second game of this doubleheader and our last game today for Hockey World Cup. But certainly not the last of Hockey World Cup in general. Not even the last this weekend.
and yeah, I see something uh, Taser's asking about USA Canada. I think it was on the schedule for a Thursday night. Um, here's a shot, and this one is wide. Uh, yeah, we're we're down for whatever. I think. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what day on the schedule that was, but I want to say it was on a Thursday. So we were trying to plan accordingly for that. I'm assuming that will be in the evening. Uh, pretty much as long as we know about it in the evening time, the, then we should be good for that. Wednesdays are weird for me, but uh, any other day we can certainly do that. And so whatever Thursday night that is scheduled for, and I don't have the schedule in front of me, but Dennis with a net in front of him converts and makes it 2-1. to one, And Ricky with his second assist here for Ukraine, they will go up by one here in the second period with about a minute gone and so will canada have a response or will ukraine have another shot at this again as he's gonna switch this up there's nobody there on that side of the rink to convert it though but they will hold this in at the face-off circle now it's going back to center ice dennis will go ahead and take this and reset the offense as he's uh, got Ricky in the corner there. And now it will be taken by Team Canada. And he's got Bo. He's got Bo loose. And the puck just a little bit beyond him. But he will set up in front. And a big, nice job there of back checking to keep that away from the trailing Canadian player that was coming in. I believe that was Matt uh, setting up in the slot for that drop pass. So here's a shot from distance as Ukraine takes it. And now they will rebound it here. And the one-timer attempt is going to go just beyond the blade of, uh, of the Ukrainian player who is waiting for it here. And so now they will go ahead and dig this out of the zone. Yeah, I believe that was Mirror Boy there. And now coming in is Canada with a shot off the post. Off the post and back out, ringing in and out. That is as close as you can get. And now here's a chance for Dennis on the other end for Ukraine. He's going to take the shot. This one just barely wide to the left. And so a couple of near misses on both sides. And we will remain for the moment at 2-1. to one. As we go about halfway through this game, and again, we're seeing another close game. Here is Ukraine. Nice shot over the net. And that was, uh, looked like, who had that shot? I believe that was Dennis. So here it is. It will be sent out. And Sammy's going to send this back down. And Ricky and Oracle will converge on it. Ricky's going to go ahead and take this. 146 left in the second. He's got Dennis out here at the blue line. And he is bodied right there by Galchenyuk. He got a piece of him there. As, uh, yeah, our, uh, Galchenyuk uh, appears to be the uh, sole uh, substitution made for Canada here. As uh, Canada with a deep bench as well. They have a bunch of good players. So we'll see uh, what kind of adjustments they make like that. They, they, uh, they have their... Uh, they have several good goaltenders and some uh, solid defensemen and some good shooters as well. So it, it, it's nice to have some depth on the bench, and Canada certainly has that. As uh, you know, the game of hockey is, as you might uh, know, it's it's fairly popular in the country of Canada. And so for the country of Canada, they are setting up here. And Bo was there, but this one uh, just wide of where he was at as they're trying to set up the one-time attempt. So Ricky is going to move the puck for Ukraine, and he's got room to move. Gets around, chance in front, and he is uh, taken off the puck. So 29 seconds left, and they will try to send one back into the slot and not able to get it. It's going to go the other way for Team Canada. And he's going to go ahead and send this in just wide to the right. And before Matt can come in, Oracle uh, very wisely goes ahead and lifts it out and dumps it back the other way. So now here's Sammy doing the same for Team Canada. And that is going to do it for this second period. 2-1, to one, Ukraine with the lead, but just barely.
But yeah, we'll we'll figure it out on the USA Canada because that is going to be a big event. It always is. Uh, USA Canada, uh, twice they have met in international play, once with a win for each of them. So this matchup that they will have in hockey question mark World Cup will be an exciting one because it kind of is a tiebreaker. Not only will it have implications for the standings of Hockey World Cup, but it will also have implications for the meeting of these two teams. And here's one shot wide. Ukraine on the jump here. Lots of moves. And Ricky with the one-timer and a beautiful conversion there. Oh, man. <laughs> A nice play by Team Ukraine, and that will give them a 3-1 lead as Ricky with some moves. And just a nice pass, and he converted quickly with it. So now here they are again, Ukraine moving it. And Canada just trying to get it out of their zone as Galchenyuk will send this loose. And uh, here's a chance for Canada. Loose on a 2-0 break. He shoots. He scores! Matt with his second. And he's got uh, down by one here. He's got his second of the game here. Oh, wow. So, yet again, this Canada-Ukraine matchup, very, very close. And these are two fun teams to watch, I must say. They, these guys, uh, uh, not only do they play well against each other, they're, they're just uh, fun teams to watch from a hockey perspective. And here is Ukraine, wheeling, dealing, circling, shooting. Dennis over the stick of Sammy, and he gets the goal, 4-2. to two. Ricky with his third assist of the game. And Ukraine, wow. <laughs> oh, man. We're seeing some great goals here in this Hockey World Cup and in these final two games, Canada and Ukraine putting on a show. But we'll see if Canada can come back. They definitely have the offensive firepower to do so, but Ukraine certainly getting it done on offense as well. And there's a nice job of just uh, shoving it past the defender he will carry it into the corner here. Mirror Boy looking for a possible wraparound attempt. Nope. And here's a backhander that will go wide to the right. And picked up, sent out. Bojarzine waiting for it at center ice. And he will just try to flip this down. It is blocked, however. And so with 2.30 left in the third, they will start in the back again. Galchenyuk with it. He's going to send it back down to Bo as a collision <laughs> takes place. <laughs> and they are taking off the puck here. And so now switching it up to the opposite end of the rink. And it will go back to center ice. And again, Canada will have to... And this is going all the way back to Sammy. Nope, nope. Matt will finally gather it up and start to make a move. And he a nice... <laughs> move to get around a couple of people there and this is a chance in front oh misses he swats and not quite there as Bojarzine uh, he uh, almost had a chance in front but not able to convert and now here is Matt circling he's going to have a chance for a backhand he jumps he shoots he scores he does it all and Matt with the hat trick the mat trick if you will makes it four to three so Canada only down by one now, 135 left to play. Can they make a comeback? They have the time to do it. Do they have the inclination? We shall see. As here they are with it again. But they're going to have to fight off a very game Ukraine team. That They look good. And they are doing a lot offensively. And their possession time has been a very good. But here is one that was on its way. It is blocked as Oracle saw that pass coming, breaks it up. And we will go to the one-minute mark. One minute left to play in the third period, as they would, uh, as the announcer would say, if we had an announcer in the rink, which we do not. But, yes, it's uh, been a pretty good game so far. 48 seconds left. We'll see if uh, Canada can tie things up. Uh, here they go with it. His shot is, uh, well, was that a shot or just a dump in? Either way, it's going to go 
rattle back along the boards here. And this one's going to go all the way back to Sammy. And he will waste no time getting it out. And it is immediately sent back to him here as Galchenyuk is going to take it. And now here comes the Canadian offense. They are trying to move it in. And before they can get it into the zone, it is sent back out again. Time running out on them. 11 seconds left. They're going to have to move quickly here. 8 seconds, 7 He's going to go ahead and lift one. Oh, and a wing and a prayer. And here is the rebound attempt. Oh, but not in time. Not in time. And Canada, although they definitely had some offense going there at the end, not able to get it. And the GGs come out. And so Ukraine will take both these games, although uh, they were damn good games from both these teams. And all credit to Ukraine, though. The, a great effort from the Ukrainian offense, and their defense was pretty strong as well. So that and that was a difference maker. Don't forget, we will be back tomorrow. Hopefully, Killinger will be back with me. And uh, I don't know, doing all this stuff solo is a uh, is a tough go. But you know, the, the when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. You know how it goes. But you can catch these tomorrow. There will be more games. The Hockey World Cup continues here on the Independent Broadcast Network. We will be here at 1 o'clock Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Eastern. That's noon Central. And we will be bringing you more action as, again, you will see this North American effort as the campaign continues. Team USA and Team Canada both in action and uh, great teams from around the world, just like you've seen today. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube. If you go to IBN Casting on YouTube, you will see this game and many others as we continue our coverage of Hockey World Cup. Follow us on IBN Casting on Twitter, where we will let you know as soon as these games happen. And sometimes that's uh, the best place to find out when we're going live. And, of course, uh, we appreciate the follows here on Twitch. You can click the little purple follow button underneath the screen, and it will uh, also inform you when these games happen. So many ways to get in contact with us. And, of course, you can follow me at Winners with the One on Twitter, and I encourage you to do so. It's always uh, fun to get more followers, and uh, it uh, gives us more eSports credentials as if we didn't already have them already because we are eSports as fuck here at the Independent Broadcast Network. So, another big day of hockey and another big weekend of hockey as we just keep it going. We've had uh, several, uh, again, it's a three-day weekend of hockey as we had the HQML last night and wrapped up our regular season. Don't forget, not only is uh, every Saturday and Sunday for the next week or so uh, the Hockey World Cup, but Friday Night Hockey, our regular gig, next Friday, the playoffs begin. And these playoffs are going to be titanic and monumental and any sort of superlatives you want to add. It's just going to be an incredible thing as uh, the these teams have battled all season long and season four of HQML there has to be a winner. There has to be a winner of the Blood Dragon Memorial Cup, and there will be a winner. So we're very excited about that as well. So lots of hockey going on. Uh, also, many other games. So TWL Insurgency starts very soon on IBN. So you will want to definitely catch that. We will be covering Insurgency, the cool game of shooting people and uh, that that is a fun game, and we're happy to be working with the folks at TWL to bring you that. And several other games as well. We're going to be doing uh, Project Cyber. That's a fun one. And several other titles that, uh, well, we'll be telling you about very, very soon. And, of course, Hashtag Wrecked from Hell Legit Games, which we're developing right now as we speak. And uh, I'm told we'll be back at QuakeCon for a third straight year of casting. So a lot is going on with the Independent Broadcast Network. So we thank everybody for joining us. Uh, join us tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central as we will bring you more Hockey World Cup. It's going to be good times. And thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>